Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Muhammad Sohil and today we are going to start one of the most important unit from pharmaceutics first that is liquid dosage form. In this session we will see introduction of liquid dosage form, classification of liquid dosage form and advantages and disadvantages of liquid dosage form. So this session is going to be very interesting to all of you. So it's my request to you if you people have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet. Please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from my YouTube channel. So without any further delay, let's begin with our today's session. First of all, what is the introduction behind liquid dosage form? As the name suggests, liquid dosage form are liquid in nature and are meant for internal, external or topical use or simply meant to insert into body cavities. Solution, syrup, suspension, elixir, concentrates are oral liquid dosage form. They are most advantageous in number of patient and have a wide advantage in improving the efficacy, acceptability and palatability of the formulation. So this is the basic introduction behind liquid dosage form. Now coming to the important topic that is classification of liquid dosage form. Depending on the phases present liquid dosage form are classified as monophasic liquid dosage form and biphasic liquid dosage form now what do you mean by monophasic and biphasic monophasic liquid dosage form are the dosage form containing single phase that is they are homogeneous in nature and biphasic liquid dosage form are the dosage form containing two phases that is heterogeneous in nature two phases are present in biphasic liquid dosage form that is biphasic liquid dosage form containing dispersion of solid particles into liquids called as suspension or dispersion of finely divided liquid droplet into liquid is called emulsion. Monophasic liquid dosage form are further classified as for internal or external use. Internally we use syrup, elixir, linctus and drops and externally we use cosmetic, liquid, antiseptic etc. Then biphasic liquid dosage form. Biphasic liquid dosage form basically suspension or emulsion we can use. Now coming to the advantages and disadvantages of liquid dosage form. First we will see advantages of liquid dosage form. Liquid dosage form are most convenient dosage form for infants, children, geriatric patient. Due to their pleasant nature, they provide beneficial psychological effect on patient. The taste of drug can be easily concealed that is masked in liquid dosage form. Possible to formulate drug with bitter odor and taste in liquid dosage form by addition of sweetening and flavoring agent. Adjustment of dose as per the requirement, need and nature of patient is possible in liquid dosage form. Liquid dosage form assure dose uniformity. Liquid dosage form have good absorption as compared to solid dosage form. Liquid dosage form contain powders when given in dry form may produce GI irritation example bromides and iodides. Drugs with hygroscopic and delicate nature which cannot be formulated into solid dosage form can be easily formulated into liquid dosage form. Now coming to the disadvantages of liquid dosage forms. Liquid dosage form are difficult to handle, carry, store and transport due to pleasant taste and swell or use of flavoring agent in liquid dosage form it may lead to deliberate consumption in children producing chances of overdose. Accuracy of dose is major issue in case of liquid dosage forms. Tablet are formulated as single dose unit containing accurate amount of dose but this cannot be achieved in case of liquid dosage form. Two incompatible drugs cannot be formulated as liquid dosage form. Since water is used as a vehicle in liquid dosage form there are chances of microbial growth and degradation of drug due to hydrolysis which are one of the major disadvantage of liquid dosage form and suitable preservative need to be added to prevent microbial contamination of drugs. Liquid dosage form containing alcohol as vehicle in various cup syrups may cause drowsiness and may account to severe toxicity when administered in children. Liquid dosage form are formulated by addition of various excipient like preservatives, antimicrobials, suspending agent, emulsifying agent, sweetening and flavoring agents. Such excipient may produce incompatibility in the formulations. 
So these are the disadvantages of liquid dosage forms.